hello and welcome to my channel in this video i will be teaching you how to make this amazing abal infused oil without further ado let's dive right in the first ingredient we will be using is cloves cloves improves blood circulation which stimulates air growth the second one is black seed black seed prevents air shedding the next ingredient is fenugreek which is also known as methi seeds fenugreek grows your hair like a weed the next ingredient i will be using is flax seed flax seeds is very good in preventing air breakage the next ingredient on my list is cumin seeds cumin seeds add shine and strength to your hair i know you might be wondering why is there so much ingredients don't worry all these ingredients are very great for your hair and scalp so why not why not use them the next one is parsley parsley promotes air growth and solves common condition like retaining your natural air color the next ingredient on my list is rosemary rosemary is known to stimulate the air growth and also reduce air fall don't worry i'll give you the exact measurement towards the end of the video the next ingredient is hibiscus leaf the dried one this leaf is known to prevent air fall and strengthen your air follicle by the way all these seeds are also very good for the skin but today we are just focusing on the air the next ingredient is turmeric turmeric powder improves your scalp health which in turn promoting air growth the next ingredient on my list is ginger is this garlic i think this is garlic powder ginger and garlic powder are known to be air growth activator like they activate the blood flow in your scalp and when there is blood flow in your scalp your hair will definitely grow the next one is moringa powder moringa powder is known to hydrate your hair strands and combat hair dryness then the next one is bay leaves and green tea <laughs> we are not making jello fries but yeah bay leaf is very very good for your hair because bay leaf fights bacteria and fungal infection, it fights itchy scalp and dandruffs as well. Then the green tea. Green tea is also known to be air growth activator that stops roughness and inhibits dandruffs. So here we have all the 13 ingredients. Actually, it is not a must you have all these ingredients. Even though you have just two or three or four or five, you are good to go. It's just that the more the ingredients, you know, the more the benefits. So I'm just going to tear out the green tea powder from the green tea bag. And then we move on to the next step. Let me quickly take this moment to welcome you all to my channel. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Z. And I teach how to make safe and effective natural products for the skin, hair care and beauty in general so i would like you to subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy what you're watching now the next step is kind of self-explanatory i'm just um putting all the i have two kind of ingredients here we have the ones in seeds and the powdered one so the ones that are in seed i'm going to just blend them all together so that they, they can become powdered as well i mean if you don't blend them it's still kind of okay but you get much benefits from blending them you know it's going to infuse well into your oil so that is what i'm doing here if you don't have blender or anything to blend it it's fine you can just infuse them as it is so i added in my fenugreek black seed hibiscus um cumin rosemary and here i'm adding in the bay leaf and also the green tea the parsley leaf so i'm just going to make sure everything is well blended and then we move on to the next step i know this is not new to you but all these ingredients are very good to your body like when you ingest them i'm not talking about putting them on your skin or on the air anything that is really good for your skin good good for your health is also good for your air and your skin rather anything that is good for your health is good for your skin and your air you just have to find a way to make them into into a product where you can apply them on your skin or the or your air 
so after blending this is what it looks like i mean i could have just gotten little out of this and use it as a spice in cooking <laughs> so i'm just going to transfer all my powders into this measuring cup here if you have a bowl it's fine you can use the bowl i'm just going to transfer it into the measuring cup and after that we move on to the next step so make sure you mix all your ingredients together so that whenever you want to infuse them they can be well infused moving on to the next step i'm going to be using quarter cup of sunflower oil i'm just going to add it into my powdered herbs i love 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 using sunflower oil to make my products it gives shiny and strong air the next ingredient i'll be using is olive oil we all know olive oil is great for the skin and for the air it conditions the dry air it repairs damaged air so i'm going to be using half cup of olive oil and again if you only have one type of oil or two types of oil it's okay the next oil i will be using is pure coconut oil coconut oil heals damaged air and strengthens those brittle and broken air strands the next oil is jamaican black castor oil which i will be using quarter cup of castor oil also now if you don't know castor oil boosts your air growth up to five times the usual rate five times the usual rate so it is a very very good oil to start incorporating in your air care routine now that i've added all my oils which are olive oil sunflower oil castor oil coconut oil of course the next thing to do is to stir it well now you can this step is optional you can as well just place it in the hot water so that it can just awaken all the nutrients in the oil or you can actually not it's not compulsory it's optional the next oil i will be using is peppermint essential oil this particular essential oil increases blood flows to the scalp and also nourishes the scalp and air strands the next oil is eucalyptus oil is also an essential oil which nourishes the scalp as well and also give it nutrients that is important for healthy air so i added 10 drops of those oil the peppermint oil and eucalyptus oil you can add as much as you want then the next step is to cover my ingredients and let the infusion begin i infused it for a month and three days i think you can infuse for starting from a week till three months one time i was watching a video on youtube and i found this person that infused about oils for six months i was like wow wow <laughs> the patience so after infusing mine for one month and three days i think and make sure you're mixing like you're stirring it throughout your infusion period the next thing i want to do i'm doing right now is to sieve of course because we have lots of powders in there so i'm just going to sieve and be right back after saving for the first round this is what i got and i realized i have lots of particles in my oil then i went ahead to get this um cap so that i can use it because at least it has more tiny holes than the usual so i'm going to use this my wig cap to sieve it again as well then we see how it goes so this is what i was talking about it's just underneath the oil hopefully we don't have it in the next round we want to sieve so when i was sieving this i was kind of very careful i didn't squeeze i didn't you know apply pressure on the cap so that it won't just drop those seeds into my oil because i wanted to clean something i can you know use without worry so now that i have that i'm just going to transfer my oil into these bottles and this oil since it does not contain any water or any um any you know wet ingredients it can last as long as as a year depending on the um the shelf life of the ingredients you use the oils you use and my oils are up to two years a year so it can last as long as a year you can just make this and enjoy so like i promised the 
measurement I used for all the herbs is just one tablespoon each. And I use 13 different herbs, which is not compulsory. You do that as well. And for the oils, I mentioned the measurement earlier. I'm just going to re mention them again. Quarter cup of olive oil, quarter cup of cup of castor oil, half cup of sunflower oil, and quarter cup of coconut oil. And infuse as long as you can. So with that, we have come to the end of this video. Until I see you in my next educating and beneficial video. Stay healthy, stay strong, and stay happy. Bye.